is up people Joey Suggs here welcome to a new video welcome to a full day of eating video and a full day of eating out video what's even more amazing than what's in this bag is what is right here Starbucks is brand new fall season stuff um, by the way don't plan on going to Starbucks anytime soon because it was an absolute madhouse in there waited like 45 minutes for my drink but it possibly could be worth it and this could be a super low calorie option for you to get when you want to go to Starbucks this fall first let's give it a sip then we'll give it a review that's exactly how I wanted it to taste like precisely how I wanted it to taste hold on I gotta, I gotta go again that is some incredible bean water all right are you ready for the order Starbucks cold brew coffee Trenta signature espresso roast with two shots of espresso, uh, pumpkin spice topping with pumpkin cream cold foam, two packets of stevia in the raw cinnamon powder, four pumps of sugar-free vanilla, and some pumpkin sauce. And it's delicious. Estimated calories somewhere around probably like 120 to 150. And it's really my typical order that, that I get, but with the added fall theme stuff. And it really does add a nice fall theme to it and it tastes absolutely delicious. And this is an absolutely huge cup of coffee with a ton of caffeine. Perry's running an errand right now, but she also got the iced apple crisp oat milk shake and espresso. Ooh, it is very, very sweet. Like very, very sweet, but it's not bad. Um, not Maybe not my favorite. Definitely not as good as the oat milk chicken espresso, but that's about 180 calories. And I got the classic egg white bites. These look pretty, pretty miserable. They're a nice little like breakfast bite and they are a decent source of protein. I think it's 170 calories, 12 grams of protein in this. It definitely tastes pretty decent. So this is how we're starting off a breakfast today not too shabby at all and this thing actually does keep me full for a little while with the caffeine the size and everything like that so that is an added bonus to go along with this definitely not gonna be hungry for a little while but the goal of today is to hit somewhere around 25 to like 2800 calories and with that over 200 grams of protein i don't see that being an issue and it's gonna be a great video maybe show you a couple of things from a couple places that you might not have known about so if you can do me a favor, go ahead, smash the thumbs up button now, absolutely obliterate it, and let's get into the video. Hi! It's fall, y'all! What do you think of your drink? It's pretty good, but all the syrup's like sitting at the bottom. It's definitely sweet. All right, we got a couple more errands to run, but I'll see you in a little bit for the next meal. One eternity later. That was an experience, um, but we got Subway, baby. Oh, uh, you can't see what it is. Subway, baby. I was gonna get a wrap, but they didn't have a wrap. Um, the wraps weren't ready yet, so we got a, just a normal sub. And this is attached to a gas station, as most Subways are nowadays. Um, and I was gonna see if they had the Quest chips in there to get that. Um, but they didn't have it, so not a huge deal. The Sammy that we ordered, though, Woo-wee! Feast your eyes on some of that goodness. What this is, are you ready? <sighs> Double oven roasted turkey on artisan wheat bread with yellow American cheese. Um, all the toppings that I wanted, which included lettuce, spinach, banana peppers, cucumbers, pickles, black olives, then a very light squirt of mayonnaise and a little bit of buffalo. And I did get a foot long. Yeah, that seems about right. Let's give it a bite. Yo, I gotta be honest, that's pretty good. Got it a little toasted too. Yeah, that's definitely not a bad sub. And Subway's like the largest fast food company in the world. Um, so they definitely have a location near you. And it was pretty quick, in and out, no problem. So this beefy sandwich right here um, actually turned out pretty good on, on macros. The entire meal was like a little over 700 calories, but it does have like a right around or a little over 60 grams of protein. Um, so it may not be the absolute best thing in the world to eat, but it's 
pretty, pretty good and has a decent amount of like calorie to protein ratio when you're trying to get food quickly on the go. And obviously I could have saved more calories if I would have got the salad version of this, which is just like in a bowl with lettuce. But I do want some carbs for my pre-workout meal, which is what this is gonna serve as. And generally if you're on the go, Subway's a pretty good choice if you get the right thing. Now I do wish the gas station I went to right here had those Quest chips because that's an easy 140 calories extra with 20 grams of protein extra, but not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna enjoy my sandwich for lunch in my car. Errands are done and I can go home and get ready for the gym now. Check this bite out. Mmm. All right, sandwich done. That was actually really good. Um, just got home and we got a couple packages. Are you guys waiting for me? Are you guys waiting for me to say hello? All right, now I know what this is and that's not important, but let's check out what we got from TLF. Woo! Never ceases to amaze me with their shorts they've been releasing. Damn, check that out, like a ombre patterned blue and red. Let me know which one is your favorite, red or blue. Um, I think I wanna wear blue for today's workout though. By the way, these are dropping August 29th. So that way you can go grab these right when they come out and you can use my code tlf sug to save 15%. I absolutely love their mesh shorts. Some of the best in the game, period. All right, a quick fit change and no more Crocs. Now we can go to the gym. All right, approximately 10 seconds later, we've already made it here and I'm ready to get a good back and bicep day in. Now, yes, I could have been my pre-workout at home, but I do always keep in my car the Bulk Black from Transparent Labs, one of the best pre-workouts, but this right here has made a huge difference in like a couple of my workouts per week. I don't take it every time, but the Stim Booster, that's some hard hitting stuff. So a scoop of each going down, and uh, I'm gonna keep the workout pretty brief today, but I will say I'm gonna get back into deadlifting a little bit, and I'm gonna be releasing a program coming soon, um, so that way you can follow along with me and uh, we can kind of track our strength together. So Transparent Labs going down, some uh, Trident Vibes going down, this gum absolutely slaps as well. Let's go crush a back and by day. All right, uh, I immediately realized why I hated deadlifting in the first place. I did three sets of 315 by five and hated it. So we worked right into uh, single arm cable pull downs. Love this machine. Did about four sets of 12 to 15 per arm. Amazing, popped the pump cover off, we were ready to go. Hopped straight into some low cable rows. Really good with this grip, it, you really feel a nice contraction at the end of the rep and then worked into that into biceps. Very simple here on this machine, just focusing on kind of getting warmed up and getting the blood in the muscles. Did three sets of 15 here and then my all time favorite bicep superset. Leaned back, supinated bicep alternating dumbbell curls. Did 10 reps here and then you pull the bench down a little bit and do 10 to 12 reps of lying dumbbell curls, keeping your elbows out, and it really puts a nice tension on the peak of your bicep. Quick, simple, to the point, great workout. All right, workout complete. Um, I cheated just a little bit and decided to grab some protein from the gym, these little lean bodies. If you don't wanna do that, you could do what I had planned to do before that and just bring some protein. I have some transparent labs of vanilla protein in here, two scoops of that. Or you can stop at a gas station and get the muscle milk or more better, which is a terrible way of saying anything, uh, the Fairlife Elite. Those are really good too. But I haven't tried these before, so I'm excited to try both of these flavors. This was, um, I can't think of the girl's name, but her recommendation at the gym. So let's try them out. 270 calories in each and 40 grams of protein in each. So I'm about to down 80 grams of protein right now. Up first, we'll try the cookies and cream. One, two, three. Mm, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, maybe because it's just cold and I'm literally leaking right now. <sighs> that's pretty good. Let's try the strawberry. Also, for better audio, my AC is not on in my truck and it's Florida in the summertime. Strawberry is pretty good too. I'll tell you what, these might make pretty good creamies. 
pretty solid workout almost two hours in there as well i went ahead and put both of these in and it set us right over 1500 calories for the day which really is not bad at all um i've been really full throughout the day and haven't had any issues with hunger or anything like that and i had a really good workout so this is actually pretty solid i am going to count this as a meal considering it's almost 600 calories mm. cookies and cream done but i cannot stress it enough um if you do need like a protein shaker some extra protein on the go stopping at either one a gas station they almost always have like the protein milks two go stop at a supplement store go stop at a gnc or a vitamin shop they're gonna have a ton of options for you and they're probably gonna have ready to drink options that are already cold which is nice um or your third option if you need some protein on the go go to a grocery store they almost always have once again you're ready to drink stuff maybe not going to be cold but when you need some protein on the go you got to get what you can get so three really good options for you um and then four if you're at the gym already see if they have a protein shake there all right strawberry one done that is going to top us off i got to go home change shower and uh maybe relax this tummy a little bit before dinner tonight all right the bugs out here are crazy uh quick shower we got perry back and um, let's go to probably the best fast food, high protein place you can go. And I got a ton of calories to spend, so let's ball out a little bit. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is our dinner. Chipotle, the legend of all legendary fast food, quick items that is high in protein. That used to be for a good price no longer is it's like 16 dollars a bowl now which is insane but i will say this is an insanely delicious looking bowl an extremely full bowl as well and it ends up being pretty solid macros too are you ready to hear what's in it bowl with white rice and black beans steak and chicken and then like a full, a full serving of each, so double. A little bit of spicy, double corn, light sour cream and light cheese, and then just lettuce. And this is literally my ideal bowl. This is what I get every time I go to Chipotle. Never ceases to amaze me. And it is exactly 966 calories according to my fitness pal. And by the way, I don't know why Perry doesn't do this, but if you don't use their spoon, it tastes so much better coming from their spoon compared to like a normal metal spoon. I have no idea why, but it's the facts. All right, here's the bite. Very, very solid. I'll be honest, my Chipotle luck has been kind of hit or miss on whether like the steak is really chewy or the rice is undercooked or something. But this one all around is very, very good. Mmm. This is probably one of the best Chipotle bowls I've had in a while, actually. So like I said, 966 calories in the bowl. That brings up to 2,500 calories, which is right in the range that I wanted to be for tonight. We pop into the macros, 236 grams of protein. Absolutely insane on the protein. I think a lot of that did come from like the 80 grams we got from the two protein shakes, but you gotta have protein post gym. I honestly might not even be able to finish this entire bowl tonight. I lied. It was delicious and I ate the entire thing in like two minutes. So I can tell here on this screen that the 966 calories from this meal has 83, 84 grams of protein in it. So that's actually a really good calorie to macro balance. So when you're out and about and you wanna find some sort of high protein dinner or lunch, uh, Chipotle is a pretty solid option if you don't mind the tons of sodium that's in this bowl as well. We enjoyed our Chipotle, been chilling on the couch watching a movie. I was gonna try and grab something else to eat tonight, but honestly, I'm pretty full and I just don't need it. So I'm gonna wrap the video up here. I hope you guys learned a couple new fun stuff to get while you're eating out, enjoying life like I am right now. If you enjoyed it, press thumbs up button and I will be seeing you shortly in the next one. Peace. This the end zone. If you rockin' with it, put your hands up. Yeah.